what challenges do I see for torsional vibrations in the future? I think that uh, the engine industry is in a, and the engine industry is the industry I know best, <clears throat> is in a, always in a phase of development, but there are some really big, um, big things coming up. For example, higher firing pressures on all types of engines, uh, which means that the, that the impulses that create the torsional vibrations will be even stronger. Um, you also have the, uh, the ice class problem. Um, more and more ships, because of uh, global warming, more and more ships will be sailing in icy waters and um, that's a, a big issue for torsional vibrations. And so I think there's uh, um, plenty for the industry to do and um, yeah, some very big challenges coming up. I see that definitely in the system behavior. So we have to take this torsional vibrations in the context of power generation, overall propulsion systems. So we have to include control issues. We have to uh, introduce some consideration about electric machines. So we have to look more around, uh, have, to, have to have a broader look. We have many uh, challenges in the future. We have um, still increasing, in, increasing peak pressures in engines. We have uh, increased system complexity, uh, not only um, combustion engines, but also hybrid um, configurations in, in different applications. So the system complexity rises and we have to understand what, what is happening in these systems and we have to find solutions how to handle these. Uh, these challenges in, in our daily work. Well, the challenges for the future is ever increasing uh, power, efficiency, emission, and that leads to higher uh, load on our uh, crankshafts and other parts, which, uh, and load means tangential forces, which increase the torsional vibration. And uh, that is not only in the low engine orders, also in the high engine orders. And that's really a challenge for crankshaft design, but also for the design uh, of the dampers, torsional vibration dampers or axial vibration dampers. Not only the torsional vibration, shafting is not a torsional, it's the other vibration also, alignment issue. So it's a combination. And I have to say that the engine also change it. So, any, uh, so we, uh, we have to be up for much uh, the good, uh, uh, good thing for intentional vibration technology. So uh, I think it's uh, more uh, for communicated uh, for very wider specialists that are talking, then it's a good, and for, uh, uh, good thing for the future. Torsional vibrations are an integral part of a combustion engine and uh, when you uh, develop a combustion engine forward, uh, torsional vibrations uh, get more and more into the middle because you have to control them. And uh, this is a field which we think is getting bigger and bigger and it's a very complicated issue. It's only a small part of an engine, of course, uh, but it's uh, very complicated. And so from that point of view, we think uh, that you can uh, make engines smaller if you control the vibrations better. And there, uh, torsional, controlling torsional vibrations is a key issue. Challenges for torsional vibration in the future. I think the challenges is low vibration. <laughs> yes, uh, but I think maybe uh, it will be much, much more exact to control the vibration. For, for example, for which period we can avoid, or maybe I think. Just in theoretical, maybe we can use the energy of vibration to do something just, just from my private of thinking. Yeah. The 
we had already uh, heard the challenges. Uh, that is that uh, the reduction in speed of the engine and the increase of the torque. And the uh, increase of the torque means a higher force at the crankshaft and all the, the propulsion system. And that means that we do have a higher uh, torsional excitation. Uh, and this is a big challenge. So on the one side we are looking for efficiency, on the other side is mechanical reliability and both has to be found at the best compromise.